K4 start today, Sega Model 2 emulator setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new video, which is almost every day, if not every day. And it also helps out my channel too. Uh, so last night I uploaded and released a Sega Model 3 Supermodel Assistant setup guide. And in the comments section of that, a couple of people is actually mentioned some work done by a youtuber known as warped polygon now i'm familiar with warped polygon i highly recommend this channel he deals a lot with sega model systems anyways after looking into the comments i'm going to do you a setup guide with the blessing of the creator itself so this is going to be how to actually get everything pre-configured for you so you don't need to mess around and of course sega model 2 is notorious for setting up each game this is actually all done for us very easy to do so big shout out to warped polygon for doing this now if we head over to this website this is launchbox forums we can see just here what warped polygon is actually uploaded so we got some instructions here uh, i'm not going to go through that you can read this yourself but this is actually aimed at launchbox but of course we can actually set this up outside of launchbox very easily so first of all we're going to go to download this file now just here we're going to find x input sega model 2 pre-config files and we've also got d input now depending on the type of controller you've got in my situation i'm going to be using x input now the other files we got just here aren't really too applicable to what we're doing as the sega model 2 standalone so what you need to do is just determine which type of controller configuration you're going to go for uh, my xbox controller works fine with x input so we're just going to download this one Next up, we're going to download the Model 2 emulator itself. So again, I'm going to leave the link in my description for this. So if you just download the Model 2 emulator just here. And of course, we need a ROM set of Sega Model 2 games. Now, if you check out the Launchbox guide, which Warped Polygon uploaded a little while back, it will tell you exactly which ones you need. There's various different ROM sets. So first of all, what we're going to do is actually unpack the Model 2 emulator. So what I'm going to do is just create a new full on my desktop right click new folder and i'm going to call this folder model 2 very easy and we're going to drag the contents of the model 2 emulator inside of that model 2 folder i've just created so that's now been extracted and we can delete the archive of the model 2 emulator we're going to go inside of model 2 and let's just open up the emulator itself i'm going to be using the emulator underscore multi cpu if I open up this one, it's going to generate a new file, a .ini file, and this is what we need. This is all good. Next up, we're going to create a new folder within that Model 2 folder, and we're going to call the folder ROMs. Okay, so within the ROMs folder, we're going to put our Model 2 ROM set inside of that one. So you can just drag and drop. Okay, so everything is almost in place. The next thing that we do need to do is just open up the emulator.ini file. Double left click, and this should open up in a notepads document. Thing we need to do just here is actually set the directory for the Model 2 emulator to know where our games are. So what we're gonna do is go back into the Model 2 folder, into the ROMs folder, and at the top where the search bar is in the Windows Explorer, just left click on this one, right click, copy, now we got directory one just here. What we're going to do with this is just take away the C and just delete everything else. And we're actually gonna paste in just here, control and V, the new location of where the games are located. And we're gonna go to file and save. Next thing we're gonna do is just come out of the ROMs folder. Now the X input we've got just here this contains everything we need, including what Polygon scripts. What we need to do is just copy everything here and just drag and drop it into that Model 2 folder. It's likely going to say this folder has already got these particular files like it's doing just here. All we need to do is just press replace the files in the destination. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do next is actually open up the emulator. So as we know, I'm going to be using the multi-CPU version of Model 2 emulator double left click i'm going to go to emulator load rom and this is going to display us all of your model 2 games if i open up one of these games double left click he's 
select a race course. Beginner. Please choose manual or automatic transmission. Gentlemen, start your engine. And if we just go up to video, we can actually switch this to full screen mode. And just to let you know that all of the files that Warts Polygon is put together itself, it's going to give us a very decent resolution, including controllers already set up, providing you use the X input like I've done for Xbox controllers. So switch to full screen. And they're underway. So the game works perfectly, everything's already pre-configured and the resolution displays really fine for me. So very good to work there to warp polygon. Uh, what we're going to do is just exit. If I open up the emulator again and emulator and just remember just to drop down to load ROM and providing your ROM directory is set up like I've just showed you how to do this then everything should be good to go. Uh, so one of the features which Warp Polygon worked on, which was pretty problematic for some users of Model 2 emulator, was the Manx TT Superbike. Now, if I open up this one, everything, just like Daytona, should work for you straight out of the box. Please select the course. Please choose manual or automatic transmission. Get ready. So excellent stuff. So games like this is working just perfectly fine and very nice to control too through Warp Polygon's work. Now we do have game configure controls just here. If any of your controls shouldn't work whatsoever with these configuration files that Warp Polygon is uploaded, then just feel free to map things out yourself. Now there is other particular games within the file configurations that aren't going to be able to be controlled through a controller. You do need to read through this and see what works with which games for example house of the dead is going to be configured with particular settings so my controller doesn't work with this but if you really want to play light gun games then you do need to read through what warp polygon is uploaded here and we're going to just check out motor aid select a player robin nobody can stop me choose one Endus. The first stage. Get ready. Three, two, one, go.
So that's it for today's Sega Model 2 setup, guys. So big thanks to Warp Polygon for providing this community, and also a special thanks for allowing me to show your work on my channel. So, anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe, and like. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And also, subscribe to Warp Polygon and show your appreciation. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.